All right, guys, another video card launch, another length and physical comparison. So this is the NVIDIA Reference GeForce GTX 560, and I'm going to show you just how long it is and what are the odds it's going to fit in your case compared to a couple of other popular GPUs on the market. So I'm going to flip it over, which is going to make it a little bit easier to measure due to the shape of the shroud. And uh, let's do this card first. I actually haven't done this off camera, so I have no idea. And it's just a hair over nine inches long. So nine and one, I guess that's a sixteenth. Nine and one sixteenth. So the first thing we should compare that to against is its direct competition in the market, which is the Radeon 6870. So this one, this is a funny decision to make because you can see AMD has actually put a longer shroud on this card than the length of the PCB, so they've actually made it longer than it actually is. So for this guy, what we're going to end up with is 9 and 7 8 inches. So it has a slight advantage in size over the 6870. Now the next card in our little informal test here is going to be a GTX 570. This one is going to weigh in at a whopping 10 and 9 sixteenths of an inch. So it's got a full inch plus over the GTX 560 reference card. And then last but not least, I'm going to also show for comparison the Radeon 6970. Okay, so this one is almost 11 inches, so 10 and uh, 10 and 3 quarters, I guess that is. So. Something to bear in mind about this comparison here is that the GTX 570 is also exactly the same physically as the GTX 580, and that also goes for the 6970, which is exactly the same size as the 6950. Bearing in mind that these are all reference cards, so if there's any aftermarket coolers or aftermarket PCB designed ones, they could be slightly different. So the GTX 560 is truly a lightweight in terms of its stature, but a huge heavyweight in terms of its performance.